Hey, 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 it's your fellow alopecia princess, Jacqueline Hill Bennett. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my show. Guess what, guys? Today is New Wig Tuesday. Okay, so this is, can you guys see that? Is it too bright? <laughs> it is too bright. I'm sorry for that. Let's try this. Okay, so you can see it. So this is a photo of the wig on the model. It's called Rain Layered Long Hair Wig with Voluminous Curls. And again, it's by Hair Vivi. Um, so let's try it out. So in the package, it does look like it has the same curl pattern. So I'm pleased with that. It doesn't look ridiculously curly like some of some wigs do when you pull them out the box. And um, it does come with that elastic band thingy that I never use. So I'm going to go ahead and take that right off. <laughs> I don't see the purpose of this thing because it already comes with the adjustable straps. So I don't know why they have that twice. But I'm going to take that off if I can. Oh, there it is. And... hard okay so that's off and um, it is a lace front wig and then um, I think there's about it looks like there's about five inches of deep heads um, parting space and then the rest is wefted okay so of course it comes with the lace let's put this baby girl on So what I normally do is I cut the lace off of my wigs before I put them on but I'm seeing in all these videos that these girls are leaving them on and they're getting these amazing results so me as a person who is not a professional wig installer let's try it that way. okay guys so I clipped off the um, lace of uh, the hairline looks really good uh, the texture is very nice and soft it's the the curls are just as voluminous as described, and I'm not sure if I'm pleased with how voluminous they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a flat iron to it to um, kind of relax some of these curls. Um, we're gonna style it a little bit, and then I'll be back to show you the results. Okay, so it's been three days, and I have been wearing my Hair Vivi wig everywhere. Um, Walmart, work, uh, sitting around, chilling in the house, and I really like it. I am very, very pleased with how natural the hair looks, despite it being extremely dark for me. Um, my husband likes the color a lot, and I hope that other people are enjoying it also because I kind of can see why it's a nice color and it's perfect for fall, um, but I'm definitely used to a lighter color. I haven't lightened it because I'm just I've decided to just enjoy it um, as dark as it is and as long as it is because I do tend to go on the more mid-length hair um, but I'm trying to do something different I'm trying to do something different and why not right um, I look a little bit like a basketball life but that's okay I could look like a basketball life for a little while. If it's good for the basketball life, then it's good for your girl too, right? Anyway, so um, so that's done. If you want more information about this wig, you'll see it all written in the description box. And now we can go ahead and jump into my latest Stitch Fix. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this box up and show you guys what I've received from my stylist today. Okay, what do we have here? More jeans, because they love sending me jeans. A um, couple of sweaters. I mean, I did peek a little bit and on my um, Stitch Fix app, 
And um, I gotta be honest, when I peeked, I wasn't that impressed. I was a little bit bored, but I decided to just shut it off and stop peeking because sometimes we need some boring clothes in our closet. Everything in my closet can't be, you know, um, for, oh, my hair is all caught up in my, in my microphone. Okay, so everything in my closet can't be for Saturday night, right? So, let's get to it. All right, so I got one, two, three, four, five items. One pair of jeans, which I'm going to try on, which with each one of these shirts, unless this is a dress. What is this? Oh, no, this is definitely a sweater. Yeah, it's a sweater. It's kind of boring, but I'll give it a shot. You need boring clothes, right? I mean, I work. I do need boring clothes for work. Hopefully it's like sexy, nice, boring clothes. I don't know. Anyway, first outfit I will try on is, of course, the jeans because I don't, I'm not wearing pants currently. And oh my God, more ripped jeans. <sighs> ripped jeans. How do I feel about ripped jeans? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I just feel like, you know what? I have kids who are like now getting into fashion and they're all like, what is up with this? And they're all like, ooh, I want ripped jeans. So when I see ripped jeans, I think of teenagers. But you know, I do like to dress like a teenager sometimes. So we're gonna go with that. Okay. BRB. All right, this is me in jeans and sweat jeans and a sweater. Um, I guess it's okay, you know, it's jeans and a sweater. I don't know that I needed stitch fix to put me in jeans and a sweater, but I do know that people should wear jeans and a sweater sometimes. So <laughs> I get it, I get it. Anyway, so who is my stylist today? Kelsey is my stylist and she says, hi Jacqueline, happy fixed day to you. I hope you're enjoying your fall so far. I saw that you liked one of the tops that I picked out for you in your last fix and I am happy to see that. I'm hoping that we can find you even more styles in your new fix that you will love. Thank you for the YouTube video. I loved hearing your thoughts. I started with the Vigos jeans, Vigos, Vigos, Vigos. I started, started with the Vigos jeans for you to try this time. And these are they, these are the Vigos jeans. Um, a little rippy right there, but okay. Rip jeans, they're not terrible. Um, they're very comfy, very soft. And um, let's see what Kelsey and Stitch Fix are asking for these Vigos jeans. They're asking $58 for these jeans, which I guess is a decent price. Um, I don't hate them. Don't love them that much because I'm really not that into ripped jeans anymore. But they're still really cute. Anyway, um, she says, uh, the jeans are super fun and a great color for fall. These will look great paired with fall knits, sweaters, and cardigans. Try pairing them with the Mix by 41 Hawthorne knit top. Am I wearing it now? Mix by Hawthorne. Mix by Hawthorne. No, right now I'm wearing the Arnold Raglan knit top, okay? Um, I guess they're Raglan sleeves, true to form. Um, and it's a knit, I don't know what it's made from, I can't, I'm not looking at the tag, but it is, it is more silky than sweatery, so I do like the fabric. Um, I don't think I love this outfit, but I bet you if it were in my closet, I'd wear the hell out of it. <laughs> Usually, let me tell you guys, when it comes to casual clothes, I'm all about thrifting, okay? I love to thrift for casual pieces like this, and I love to thrift for um, really, really intriguing artsy pieces, which one day, if you guys request it, I will show you some of the very artsy pieces that I have picked up at vintage and thrift shops over the years. Um, but I normally just would not spend, 50, well, jeans I'll spend a little bit of money on, but like for a sweater like this, let's see what she's asking. 
$38. I don't see myself spending $38 for a sweater like this. I see myself spending $38 for a, a vest that I love a whole lot or, you know, a nice piece. But, yeah, maybe. But I bet you if I had it in my closet, I'd wear the hell out of it. So, who knows at the end of this video uh, what decision, decision that I'll make. Okay, so next item. Okay, so I'm back and I'm wearing the Jimmy Two Pocket Duster Cardigan that uh, Kelsey sent me. Um, it is a very nice fabric. It's a good quality knit. It's also very silky knitty. <laughs> silky knitty, is that a word? Um, but truth be told, not my style. I'm just not this girl. This, I feel like she's dressing me She's dressing somebody else completely. She's just not dressing Jacqueline Hobay. Um, I might do the sweater and the jeans, but I definitely won't do the cardigan. Although it is good quality, although it is quite nice, it's just not my taste. All right, next item. Okay, so I am now wearing, let me close my door. I am now wearing the Gina Crew Neck Pullover by Pink. Um, they're asking for this Gina pullover, $48. It is, you know, I have to take the clothes off to figure out what they are. I don't know what they're made from. and It's not indicated in any of this paperwork. Um, but it is very soft and it is very warm. And it's a very good sweater. I feel like everybody's supposed to have a sweater like this in their wardrobe. Even though I don't. <laughs> Because I dress like every day is Saturday night. <laughs> I think it's also time for me to stop dressing like every day is Saturday night. So thank you very much, Kelsey, for sending me this sweater. I might keep it. Um, it's just really like, like okay, it's 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 not as boring. It's not as boring as that cardigan was for me. Um, and. No offense, please take no offense. If you like that cardigan, if you like any of these outfits a whole lot, uh, please don't be offended that, you know, I don't feel the same way. We all have our own taste and we're all unique and I appreciate that. Like, I'm so glad everybody is not like me and dresses like it's Saturday night all, all the time. But okay, so anyway, um, Let's see how much she's asking for this pullover. The pullover is, oh, Gina Neck, Gina, Gina, pink. Oh, it's $44. Um, it's a sweater. <laughs> Next item. Okay, and the final piece that Kelsey sent was this very bohemian uh, billow sleeve top by Renee C. Um, it's called a Matty, M-A-T-I, billow sleeve top. And sh they're asking $44 for this top. It's very bohemian, um, much more my style than anything else in that box, but probably makes a lot less sense because we are moving into the fall and I should definitely be dressing like it's fall. Um, I don't usually like wearing heavy sweaters anyway, no matter what. I like wearing pieces like this with cardigans over it. This way, um, when I start feeling warm in the office or around the house, I can just like peel off layers instead of wearing one big heavy thing where I'm sweating and I'm like, oh my God, turn down the heat. You know, I'd rather just be comfortable and take layers off. Um, so in that sense, all right, you know what? I've talked too much. I would love if you guys help me figure out what to do with this box because I don't, I don't know. Um, I do know that it's time for me to grow up and start wearing clothes that um, are not for nightclubs to work. <laughs> but um, uh, so if you could help me and tell me what you think, I would really appreciate it. Uh, go ahead and throw that in the comments. I will be looking out for them. So please go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of my show. And I'll catch up again with you real soon. Bye.